this is me and I'm currently in the beautiful Devon countryside. Today I'm going to be visiting an amazing equestrian and country store, Red Post Equestrian, who apparently have set me quite a few challenges for today. So let's go and find out. Hi! Hi Esme, welcome to Red Post. I'm Storm and I'll be showing you around today. Oh, lovely to meet you. So what's the challenge for today? Your main challenge is to stay at Red Post for 24 hours. Okay. <laughs> We've got some really great challenges for you, but the first one is to get into your uniform. The general public aren't here yet, so have a good look around, explore, and we'll catch up with you soon. Awesome. Thank you. Guys, I don't know where to start. We have the whole shop to ourselves. The general public aren't here yet. And um, yeah, oh, they have the new Lumia Glacé. Oh, they have it in the musk as well. I haven't seen it in real life in the musk. This is so pretty. Oh, wait, no way. Over here, they have literally all the colours in the base layers almost. So pretty. Like, look at that. How satisfying is that with all the different greens? Oh, look at all the show jackets. There's the Rock Rose one with the rose gold detailing. And we have the Ariat one. Oh, I love the vents underneath this. <gasps> Look how many breeches and show jackets there are. Oh my goodness, okay. Down here we have so many helmets. Look at all the colours of the skull caps and the fixed peaks with the different coloured piping and binding and things. <gasps> so pretty. Oh, and they've got the hat silks right next to the helmets. That's such a good place to put them. <gasps> All the matchy matchy of my dreams. <laughs> okay, let's head over here. Oh my goodness. I love this top. Like the colour of it is so pretty and it's sleeveless. So you're not going to get dodgy tan lines as well. That is going to be so cool for the summer. This top looks like it would be so nice in hot weather. Like look how breathable it is. So pretty as well. I love the design. Okay, so we have all of the Ariat team colours here. Very nice. Oh! The tall boots. Oh, how pretty are these ones? Whoa. Oh, and they have the Palisade and the Nitro Maxes. No way. Guys, they have Western boots. How cool are these? They literally have everything here. No way. Oh, they've got the country boots down the bottom, the jodhpur boots. Guys, this is just horsey heaven. They have everything. Oh, they have the Fairfax and Favour. They have so many different coloured tassels. Whoa, that's so pretty. And then here they have loads of wellies. Look at all of these, all the different shapes and sizes, colours. Then we have an arrangement of girths over here. We have bridles, we have reins. Oh, oh okay. I think we're going into horsewear sort of territory now. So we've gone through all the ride a bit. Look, they have all the matchy matchy ears. So I've got more glacé ones. This one with the navy. <gasps> Look how pretty that is. I haven't seen the glacé grey yet. This is absolutely stunning. It's so pretty. Oh, this looks cool. I haven't seen this one either yet. It's got a little bit of bling down the side. That's so cool. Whoa, there's just so much here. Oh, guys, guys, guys. They have the new mesh pads. Oh, that will be so nice for the summer. That's so pretty. Oh, and they have it in mint as well. Oh, okay, I'm getting a little bit too excited now. They have all the lovely leather head collars. They have all the lead ropes. All grooming products, very nice. This, it feels like I'm in a horse supermarket. There's just a whole shelf of lotions and potions, sprays, everything you could ever need. More head colours in different colours. They do pet stuff here as well. So there's things for chickens, guinea pigs, dogs, cats. They have little dog baskets. I would love a dog, guys. Look at all the cute collars. You could get like a head collar that matches with um, your horse and your dog's collar. That is so cute. Okay. Oh, and they have all the mucking out tools. I think that's pretty much a tour of the whole place. How cool is it? That's a quick whistle stop tour, but 
I better go and find Storm again now because I think I've got some work to do. It's now almost opening time, so we're just turning everything on, such as the automatic like hand sanitizer machines. And we also have this here. How cool is this? It has all of the followers on here on Facebook and on Instagram. So if I follow them on Instagram at RedPostEQ, hopefully this should move. How cool is that? There we go. Be sure to follow them on Instagram, guys. Awesome. I'm currently in packing and because I'm a little bit of a nosy person, I thought I'd see what this customer has ordered going through all the boxes. Oh, a Lemire saddle pad in GP in Peacock. Very good choice. I love that colour. We also have, what else do we have? Some Ariat gloves in black. Very nice, very nice. And lastly, there is a Selwell high equestrian rug. Somebody's gonna be matchy matchy with the donkeys. And it's also in six foot three, which is Joey and Casper's size. So real matchy. But while I'm in here, um, Red Post Equestrian have been very kind. We're actually gonna be doing a special offer just for you guys, because when I work with brands, I love to give back to you. So if you order on the dates up on screen and use the code, this says me, if you spend over 50 pounds, you'll get five pounds off your order. And you'll also be entered into a random draw to win a Lemure water bottle for free that I will be signing as well. So I've got a lot of water bottles that I'm gonna be signing there. So all the information will be in the description if you'd like to learn a little bit more about that. But anyway, I've got a lot of water bottles to be signing. So Esme, you've had a good look around downstairs. What did you think? Honestly, it's so cool. I don't think I've ever been to a tack shop this sort of big before. Like honestly, downstairs, it's so beautiful. All of the products. Then upstairs in the warehouse as well. It's just awesome. I'm glad you like it. We've got 23 more hours to go. Yes, we're going to be here <laughs> a while. <laughs> so you've seen the warehouse, you've seen downstairs. Mm -hmm. We have our local customers that come to visit us in the shop but we also have our website mm -hmm. which is a huge part of what we do here we send packages all over the world so for your next challenge you're going to be packing up some boxes we've got some great orders that have to go out yep so we're going to see how many you can do awesome let's go <laughs> Great storm, how have I done? Well, I'm not sure that it's quite up to red post standards just yet. Okay. So I think we should have another go with one of our packing experts and mm -hmm. see if we can make this box a little bit more ready to go. Yep. Ah, okay. That's how it's done. That looks a lot neater. <laughs> All right, one box done. Many more packages to go. Can you get some attention? Hello. So I am really behind the scenes now. Obviously, the general public can't go in this area. Um, this is around the back where they have the yard. You're very Nicky. You're like Mickey, hey? Yes. Oh, you're so sweet. And don't worry, you're going to get some attention too. Oh, you sleepy. Yeah. 
Well, I can't spend too long with the horses. Better get back to work now. Oh my God, they're so cute. Yes, you're so cute. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm putting my blindfold on. I feel a bit exposed because I cannot see and I'm a bit nervous, so don't play any tricks on me. <laughs> so for your next challenge, yep. I have gathered some of our most weird and wonderful products. Okay. And we're going to hand them to you one at a time. Mm -hmm. Give us your best and your worst guesses. Okay. And we'll look forward to seeing what you come up with. All right. So we'll start you with this one. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Can I give it a sniff? Give it a sniff. Oh, it smells like leathery. Oh, give it a squeeze. Oh, it's a plastic. It's got a plastic bottle in it. Wait, is it one of those like horse toys? It is. Oh, yes. Okay. Here you go. Stretch your arms a bit. Oh, oh, am I gonna? I don't want to drop it. <laughs> uh, fly mask. She's good. Oh, it is. I could tell by the material straight away. <laughs> Is this where you like put a snake in my hands or something? Something more difficult for this one, I think, because you're burning through them. Okay, something far difficult. Too quickly. Okay, it feels plasticky. Oh, is this like a number bib? It is. Oh, yay! Bonus points if you can guess the colour. Oh. Hmm. See, this is where it's like a double bluff because normally they're like black or navy or something boring, but I feel like there might be something bright or cool. So I'm going to say blue. Yes. No way. This is really? The, this is the Lemire Azure competition <gasps> event exhibit. Oh, yes. I can't, I can't believe I got that right. I'm actually so proud. Okay. You can now take back. matchy matchy to the next level. Okay. Okay. Okay, it feels plasticky. What on earth? Okay, so this feels like a glove, like a grooming mitt hand thing. But what on what on earth is that? Why is it so long? Oh my gosh, wait. Why is this? Like a, is this like a, no, is this like a hose pipe? It and is. then you attach it to like a grooming glove. Yeah. I've never seen one of these before. No way. Yeah, it's like a little grooming mitt. It is. Oh, cool. I want to see, wait, I want to see that later we'll because show you that looks end, really interesting. <laughs> now, I've heard a rumour there, something is a bit clumsy. So we're oh, going to tell us okay. to be very careful with this one. Okay. I'll, I'll try not to drop it. What? Wait, it's got like a twisty bit on. Am I allowed to twist it? You can twist it, yeah. Okay. Oh. Is it one of those like cameras that you put on like a tripod and then it follows you? It is. Ooh, that's cool. Is it like the PVO Pivo? Yes. Oh, nice. They're cool. I've never seen one of those before it's in, the, in real down. life. Is that upside down? <laughs> oh, is that the camera? <laughs> no. That's the camera. <laughs> no, there's no camera. It attaches to your smartphone. Oh. So anyone with a smartphone can use this. I was going to say, this does not feel like a camera. <laughs> Ooh, this feels really soft. Is this like one of those fluffy head collars? This is the fluffiest head collar that anyone has ever seen. Oh, it's so soft. It feels like I'm like stroking like a little animal. Oh, I can't wait to see that later because this feels like so, so bougie and fancy. <laughs> I'll pass that back. Okay. And this has all been for the horse, so now we've got something for you. Okay. Oh, it's like a boot. Oh, it's, it's a short boot. I'm trying to, I'm trying to feel if it's got any detailing on because it feels kind of like there's detailing like up here. Give it a good sniff. <laughs> okay. Okay, um, it's, is it like a cowgirl boot? It is a cowgirl oh, boot. Cool. Yeah, I could tell by the little heel, it feels like a cow and like the square toe and things. Yeah. And the we size. might even let Esme try those on later. Ooh, I'm excited for that. I'm going to start you with it off. Off? What do you mean off? <laughs> what? Is this, am I actually going to like turn it on? You might do. If you press the smooth end, it's the, the other What do you mean the smooth end? <laughs> at that end. <laughs> this that. end? No. I'll do it for you. No, oh, okay. I'm, I'm going to drop I'm going to drop it. What on earth? Oh, is it one of those like horse massaging things? This is a pulse roll massage gun. It's a mini massage gun. Oh, I'll put on my guns. 
Oh, that's actually quite fun. Also, okay, I'll, I'll pass it back. I don't know how to turn it off. So. Oh, okay, this is big. Oh, it feels bobbly at the bottom. Oh, it's like spongy. <gasps> is it a dog bed? It is a dog bed. Oh, we cute. didn't want to just have horses and riders. We spoil yeah. everyone here. Oh. Oh, it's nice and soft. Awesome. Okay. Okay. I'll Congratulations. You are is that everything? It's incredible. Ooh, oh, the sun feels so bright now. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna, this is going to take a while to adjust my eyes. <laughs> you can remove the blindfold and now yep. you can see everything. Oh, cute. I want to see the head collar. That looks really fancy. Collar. Oh. It's funny because in my head I was picturing it in the like neutral colour, like the beigey yeah. colour. It's so weird seeing what it like actually looks like compared to what I was picturing it as. Oh nice, it looks so cute in the brown. Very so cool. What else did you want to see? Should oh, have the a look boots at your are boots. Cool. Do you want to try them on? They look so fancy. I love the little like detailing on them, that's so pretty. That's what I was, I was so confused about this bit because I was like, oh, that's definitely like a hand mitt. So I thought I'd have a little look at the tablet that they have here. So for example, I'm in the boots section so I can click on the Ariat Palisade boots. I can find out more information about them. You can also order through the tablet as well and do click and collect or you can um, send it to your house with delivery options. But yeah, how cool is that? All right, so the general public are now entering the shop, so it's time to go upstairs into the warehouse. All right, guys, welcome to the warehouse. How cool is this? Look how many Lumiere saddle pads are behind me. And then we have a whole wall of Ariat boots in so many different shapes, styles, sizes, because obviously you don't want to run out of boots. Um, so yeah, for example, we have some Palisade boots down here. So um, I need to do some packing of the orders later. So um, I think this is one of the sizes and shapes that uh, Storm told me to get, but um, I thought I'd have a little look down some of the other aisles as well first so I'll drop that off have a bit more of it explore all right guys I am now here with Ben who is the boss so how have I done so far I think you've done uh, really well uh, I think obviously there's there's a bit more practice here and there <laughs> but uh, I think uh, I think if you fancy leaving YouTube behind there'd be a job for you here oh thank you I've had a lot of fun today but I think a lot of people out there would be very disappointed if I stopped making videos yeah. so I'm gonna have to pass for now yeah. um, but anyway tell me a bit more about the history of Red Post uh, so Red Post started in 1992 um, when my parents John and Louise moved down to Devon from Surrey. Um, Dad, I think, was moving down here for the sort of quiet life to sit at the front of the shop with a bit of straw in his mouth, rocking and talking to people about horses. Um, but it's turned into a bit more than that. And you've had your um, new build as well for the shop. We have, yeah. So um, there's been quite a journey to, to get there. Um, the, the old shop was sort of cobbled together from uh, lots of DIY, bits of material would find a, around the place. Uh, to say the business started on a, on a shoestring would be an understatement. Um, but now, now we've got this fantastic purpose-built uh, yes, building. It's absolutely beautiful as well. And we're actually currently by the stables. So um, are your family horsey? Yeah, yeah. So, um, so yeah, the, the, the business was um, sort of born out of a, a love for horses. Uh, my, um, my dad and mum uh, ran a, a livery yard up in Surrey before moving down to here. Um, and, and dad competed internationally show jumping and then um, my older brother um, he's got his own yard um, and his son um, Ollie now competes as well Justin competed to a high level Ollie's uh, he won the senior fox hunter final a couple of years ago he's the youngest person ever I mean oh, that wow. he's now he's now only 18 um, he was I think 16 at the time um, and uh, and then my younger brother um, Mikey uh, uh, he has a, a girlfriend who, who he runs a yard with actually on the same site here um, so uh, so yeah all, all very horsey um, myself and my wife Claire have, have have our horses here but 
it's more of a more of a hobby than 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 a business. That's so lovely that it's a, a family-run business by equestrians. Um, you also sell online as well, all over the world. When did you start doing that? So we launched the uh, website back in 2012, and it's grown and grown each year from sort of 10 uh, members of the team to we've got um, over 45 uh, members of staff now, and we we ship to the US, Australia, Japan. Um, and to the rest of Europe. So yeah, it's not just the UK we, we ship to. We're also really uh, conscious of, uh, of, of not losing our, our local community ethos. So, um, you know, we've got a lot of customers that have come in here since, since I was a, 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 little, a little child. So, um, so yeah, we want to keep that sort of local feel as well. It feels like such a lovely community because obviously you have the cafe and things yeah. too, which is really nice. But anyway, I feel like, you know, we've had a nice chat, but there's a lot more work left there to is. be done. Do a I have some more challenges? You do, there's always <laughs> something to do around here. So we'll get you back on the challenges and more work to be done. Awesome, let's go. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm currently with Claire and we're going to do a hat fitting, as you can see, by the beautiful helmets behind me. But first, Claire, tell me a little bit more about what else you do here at Red Post. Okay, so I absolutely love all the different brands that we do here. I love all the custom fitting and things like the Charles Owens. They do a lot of different pipings, as you can see on some of these yeah, beautiful so hats. Yeah, the, the royal blue with the crystal. Yeah. And then you've got the rose gold. Mm -hmm. There's configurators and things. You can see exactly what options you can do on all these hats. We also do quite a few other brands here. So it's always nice to have a good range to be able to fit and style on custom. So we're going to have a look at some hats now and just explain a brief thing about how we, how we fit them and what's mm -hmm. a good fit because okay. it's so important and it's something that we really pride ourselves here at Red Post. There's always a professional fitter here to fit the riding hats for you. Yep. So let's pop this one on and see how that feels. So that one is too small. It's just sitting on the top of your head there mm -hmm. and just wants to jump up off your head yep. and if I push that one on that would probably give you a bit of a headache so we yep. won't do that. Let's pop this one on and see how this looks. Okay so you can't see anywhere no. so where you're going so you can tell that this one is too big it's coming like right down on your ear there and it just hasn't got the security there we'll mm -hmm. be looking for. Still wants to stay on your head though. <laughs> How's this one gonna feel? Yeah, this feels good. So that's gone on your head really nicely. It mm -hmm. is just sitting just above your eyebrow, so the profile is good. It's sitting again just above your ear, so that's what we're looking for. So if that is nice and secure on your head, front to back. It's gripping there at the front, holding at the back. Does it feel nice and even all yeah. the way around? There's no pressure points anywhere. No. The final thing to check is just the harness. This is all nicely secure at the back and holds the back of the hat down to prevent the front slipping. Mm -hmm. And then we just need to do your harness up. Okay. And what we're looking for now is just to make sure it's not too loose or too tight. So you want to be able to fit your finger just between your chin and the strap there. Mm -hmm. And then you're good to go. Awesome, thank you. No problem. I can't forget my hat silk. So, you've survived your first day. I have. You're doing well. Mm -hmm. Your next challenge is to spend the night in our lovely warehouse. Yes. So, find the coziest products you can. Mm -hmm. Feel free to explore and we'll see you in the morning. Cool, I'll try and make a bed out of what I can find. <laughs> Good luck. Thanks. All right, first things first, I need a pillow. So I think a Lumiere half pad will do quite well. I might take two just so I'm extra cozy, you know? Go for the same one. Yeah, there we go, pillow sorted. Now I'm looking for something I can lie on, like a mattress. So, um, you know, I'm not lying quite on the floor. I was thinking maybe the Loire pads would be good because they're a tiny bit thicker. I feel like they'll be quite comfortable. Oh, dressage pads, even better, so it's nice and square. How many do you reckon I'll need? I might just take quite a few. Sorry, Red Post. I'm making a nice comfy bed tonight. Uh, I'll just start to make my bed with these now. Oh no, that's a, that's a CC pad. I think a dressage pad would be better because it's more square. Then if not, you know, I can make a bit of a better mattress. There we go, that'll do. Slide it all down. I 
I think I need a blanket next. All right, so I've got myself a high equestrian rug that can be my blanket for this evening. That will keep me nice and warm. So I'll undo this all now. Make sure I'm nice and comfy and ready. Let's get this out of here. Oh, okay, I think I'm gonna take my shoes off. Obviously I need to put my pajamas on later, but I just wanna make sure I've got a nice, you know, comfy bed. Cause I feel bad standing on all, I feel bad standing on all these saddle pads, but um, you know what? I'm gonna be comfy. So, lie down like that. I'll have it at the butt end, I think. That'll be great. Like a little sleeping bag, get my legs in. I'm all lined up, I've got my half pad. All right guys, I'm actually so comfy right now. I can definitely sleep here easy, no problem. Got my rug, this rug is actually so warm and cozy. And then, you know, the half pad's pretty squishy as my pillow, got the saddle pads underneath me. Honestly, I could fall asleep right now, but I think I'm gonna grab a little midnight snack just in case I get hungry during the night. Obviously I need to put my pajamas and things on later. Um, we can have a little wander around later actually. That might be quite fun in the dark. Have a little, yeah, nose around. But yeah, I'll see you guys when I've got my snack. All right guys, it is very late now. It's dark, I've got the night camera on. Thought I would go for a little bit of a wander around the shop in the dark. This is quite cool. I feel like I'm gonna like spot some ghosts or something, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It's quite fun going for a little explore. I was walking along. <laughs> the face of the person here. I was like, oh my gosh, is there someone here? And then I realised it's just the face of the model. <gasps> okay, I, I should really go to sleep now. <laughs> All right guys, everyone is gone We're on the vlog camera. I've actually just quickly gone down and got myself a little midnight snack. So I have a little red post. Ooh. A cupcake let's not drop and get food everywhere and then I've also got a white hot chocolate which is so good all right guys it's now bedtime <laughs> I'm in my pajamas I'm snuggled up with my rug I've got my half pad underneath me and not gonna lie this is probably more comfy than like sleeping in a tent camping so hopefully I'll see you guys in the morning I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small Morning, everybody it is now the next day I actually slept not too badly last night maybe because I was so busy doing all the challenges but you know what as soon as I hit my pillow or my half pad um, I was pretty much sound asleep you know I slept quite well got my morning coffee I am now changed I kind of changed first thing this morning because I was like you know what if people arrive I don't want to be in my pajamas that would just be a little bit embarrassing um, but no I'm enjoying my morning out in the sun just waiting for people to arrive but while I got my coffee I was actually in the kitchen and I saw they have some cupcakes that aren't decorated yet so I thought you know what before everybody arrives how about I decorate some cupcakes that'd be a really nice thing to do so I think we're gonna do this is me kitchen takes the road so let's head over to the cafe all right everybody welcome to this is me cafe or this is me kitchen Obviously it's not mine, I'm here at the beautiful stable cafe, um, but I thought I would do some cupcake decorating. So I have my cupcakes here, I have some icing, I also have these really cute red post decorations. So I'm gonna dive straight on in and let's go. There we go, taking off the lid. Got my little piping bag. 
So I'll scoop a little bit in. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little swirl going around. And then I think I'm gonna put the red post chocolate button on top. There we go. Ooh, these look so good. I'm definitely gonna make such a mess doing this, but hopefully they'll appreciate the cupcakes. Oh, look how cute that is. Okay, I have a lot more to make, so I'll see you guys when I'm done with that. Alright everybody, here are the cupcakes. I actually did them with different levels of icing because I know some people like icing more than others. So for example, the middle one has a lot when this one here has a little bit, but I hope the guys enjoy the cupcakes when they come. It shouldn't be too long until everyone starts arriving, so I hope they like them. Equestrian, Esme here, how can I help you? Yep, sure, I can look that up for you. All right, everybody, I am currently on my break at the moment from working in the store. Uh, I've done lots of different bits and bobs today, um, but I thought I'd come round the back. Um, I'm very being kindly invited here. I've been given some treats as well to give to the horses. So this is Bambi, I believe. So hello, Bambi, would you like a treat? Because you know what? You've been very cute to get some filming done with, yes. You're so adorable, yeah. You know, what a better place to work, you know? There's horses just around the corner you can go and say hi to. Hello. All right, Storm, we have this big box here. What's my next challenge? Well, as we, we've got one final challenge for you, but before mm -hmm. you can do that, we need you to build this wheelbarrow that comes in a box. Okay. So I hope you've been practicing your DIY. Uh, I've done a bit of DIY recently on the channel, but I can't say I've ever built a wheelbarrow before. <laughs> well, everything that you need is in this box, so we will leave you to it. Good luck. Okay, bye. <laughs> How am I gonna do this, guys? <laughs> I'm stressing out already. <laughs> okay, where do I even open the box? The shop might be closed now, so I'm gonna go and head in, find Storm, and see what the next challenge is. Okay, I've built the wheelbarrow. What's my next challenge? Congratulations, you've achieved the wheelbarrow. Your 24 hours are nearly at an end. Yes. You've had a good look around the shop now, so we've got one final challenge. Mm -hmm. We need you to get two outfits, one for training, one for competition. Okay. Of all your favorite products. You've got two minutes, go. Oh my goodness, okay, Will Barry, let's go. <laughs> Show jacket, okay, let's go competition. Um, three cheers. <laughs> yep, no, no, not these ones. <gasps> oh, this is such a stress. I'm rubbish at time limited things. No, they're back here. <laughs> oh no, guys, I've messed up. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Okay, let me pitch your hats up. Okay, navy one. That'll be good for competition. And then red for not competition. Okay, ground. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm gonna knock something over. Okay, um, one of these tops. Yes, I think. Okay, and the jacket. 
one of these. Um, ah, I need breeches. Okay, uh, these leggings, they look cute. Okay, navy goes all together, that's fine. Okay, boots. Those are training. And then Palisade for competition. There's one minute left. No way, one minute left. I haven't even done the horsewear stuff. Okay. <laughs> we have a red GP pad that will go nicely with that. Okay. Brushing boots for competition. Lovely white, nice and pretty. Okay, we've got fly veil to match. I need, I think, oh no, I need a competition pad. Okay, and somewhere around here, I think. Which white competition? Okay, this one. I think I've got it. GP, nice. Um, is that everything? Is that everything? I felt like I missed something out. Ah! I think we might be done. I think we might be done, guys. Okay, we have two pads. We have boots. We have fly veil. We have other boots. I missed the show shirt. No! <laughs> I knew I was forgetting something. Okay, that will do. That's pretty. Okay, I, th I think we're. I think we're done. I think we're done. So, Esme, you've got a mm -hmm. huge wheelbarrow full of stuff here. It's yes. time to show us what you picked. Try it all on. We'll see you in a minute. Okay. Also, I'll see you at the changing rooms. <laughs> okay guys this is outfit number one we have the cap because we get helmet hair every now and again when it comes to riding especially in the summer um i have the ariat soft shell jacket i have the auburn base layer i have the moto leggings very cool and then i have the ascent boots as well i feel like this is such a sporty outfit i love it and then for the horse i thought i would go for the lemure chili red saddle pad because the red matches really nicely with the accents on the soft shell jacket of course to match we have a matchy hat silk and we also have the matching ears as well and then lastly we have some beautiful chili red bandages so i will see you guys when it's time to get changed into outfit number two here we have outfit number two so this is the competition one i have the galatea ariat jacket or show jacket i have the showstopper show shirt and i have the trifactor breeches in white and then i have my palisade boots so i'll give you a little twirl of the outfit and then to go with it for the horse i have the pro sport white saddle pad which obviously goes matchy matchy with the breeches and then i also have two pairs of the pro shell brushing boots which are very fancy and then we also have the pro mesh um, hat silk again it's navy so it goes matchy with the jacket so yeah that are the overall two looks so esme your 24 hours have come to an end you've done a great job today and you've also done a great job picking out your two outfits. Oh, thank you. You did forget a helmet. Oh, <laughs> oopsies. <laughs> so for all of Esme's followers, we have a really great giveaway running. You can choose your favorite outfit that Esme chose today. Keep your eye on our website for details of how to enter. So you can either choose the competition or the training outfit and it will include the helmet and a pair of boots and all the other great things that you saw Esme wear today. So either the training or the competition, head to the Red Post website for details on how to enter. Thank you very much for coming. We hope you've enjoyed your time with us. Oh no, thank you so much for having me and for hosting such an awesome giveaway as well. That is worldwide, guys, so very exciting. I'll leave some more information in the description below to their website if you'd like to check it out. So yeah, thank you for having me. It's been a very fun 24 hours. So thank you guys for watching today's video. If you're new or have not done so already, please like and subscribe as it really does help me out and I really do appreciate it. Also be sure to follow Red Post on social media. I'll leave them in the description below again. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye!